Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review this time from Manker. Now this here is their E05-2. Now I was sent this by Flashlight Go. They wanted me to test and review this light. They also sent me these two diffusers, which I'm not sure if they're going to be included or if they'll be available separately. But that was sent as well. Here's the box again. This here is the silver version. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up. See what's in. Everything is below it here. Got a warning about the battery, multi-language, one lanyard, one o-ring, one USB Type-C charging cable, here's the user manual, now there's a specs sheet here. Now the included battery. This is going to put out 1300 lumens but if you use a regular alkaline AA battery or lithium 1.5 volt cell it'll be 420. There's the specs there. Now if you need more time to read those go ahead and pause screen. All right. So now let's go ahead and take a look here at the light. Nice. There it is. Super compact. It's going to be great for everyday carry. It does have a little bit of a tactical feel to it as well, but it's going to be small enough where you can just clip it there on your jacket or shirt pocket. It does look nice. It does have some grooves here on the body. Definitely perfect size for everyday carry. Power switch there. Style and design on this is very nice. Clip has got some good resistance on there. There's the lanyard hole there. You get a lot of questions asked about that. A lot of times they're right here on the clip rather than on the body. Smooth finish on here. Not a sharp edge on there. Got a little bit of a indentation here. Does have a little bit of a rough area here at the bezel. The machining and finish on this is very nice as well. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at that textured reflector, also known as orange peel. You've got the Nachia 519A LED. My understanding it's 4000 Kelvin. All right, so now let's go ahead and open it up here. Opens up from the head of the light. There's the warning that it was giving you about the battery to remove that protection piece. 
Start off here with the head of the light. No spring on there, straight contact point there. You can see the drivers. And we'll take out the battery that it comes with here. Now this is a 14500 battery. Very nice. Got the built-in charging port there for convenience. And it says there 920 milliamp. So it should provide plenty of power for this light. All right, so now spring down inside there. Let's go ahead and uh, get this back together and go through the UI. Before we do the UI, actually, let's show you these diffusers that were included. Now, any information about these as far as if they're included or if they're purchased separate, they will be in the description box below my video. That's what they look like there. ABS plastic. Fit on the light just like that. Look like they're perfectly made, so it might be an included accessory. And we'll look at the white one here. I use these a lot, especially during our storms we had just set it like that you have a little tabletop lamp in emergency if this was magnetic you could hang it up on a chandelier or something and be able to have light in that room so that's what that looks like we'll come back to those in a sec now let's go through the ui and turn on the light Nice warm Kelvin there. Full press to turn it on and go through the light outputs as well. Now there's no half press on the button, so it's full press to go through. So that means the light has to go off and go on before going through the light outputs. So I wish there was a half press option with that, but it's not a con. It's a nice beam. Definitely a combination beam, as you can see there. Hotspot there, a lot of bleeding around the edge. Does have a little bit of a cut off here at the edge, but it's not real sharp. I'm not a huge fan of 4K, but this one doesn't look too bad. It's a lot of light coming out of there. <laughs> now let's show you the special mode. Special mode is kind of not part of the UI, which is pretty nice. You're just going to half press on this button here and then full press it to lock it in there. And that is a constant rate on that flash, but it is very distracting. Full press turns it off. We're right back to the last light output. This does have memory mode. So we'll go down to there. Turn it off. Turn it on. And then it will memorize long as you leave it off for at least three seconds but if you go turn it on and turn it off quickly it'll go to the next level so really easy to operate that in the UI nothing difficult especially if you're wanting something right away that you need to get started now this here is pretty toasty on this at that 1300 lumens that's pretty incredible now if you do want less heat then you could use a regular 1.5 volt cell in this going to be less light output but you do have that option as well 
but I'm gonna test it out there in the darkness with this battery here. This is gonna be the best. Now I'll turn this on here, see how the diffuser works. Oh, that's nice. Long tube on there kind of gives you a little bit more of a glow. And of course, the highest output probably be too much. Drain that battery pretty fast. Check the red one here. It does have a little area that's more intense than the rest of it. Let's go to the next level. There you go. Looks a little better there. If you do security or law enforcement, have this on your shirt, have this in your pocket, on your side, and you can direct traffic. Alright. Well, that's all there is to the UI. Very nice build quality on Mankers. I've done reviews for them for many years and I've uh, done many lights of theirs and uh, been very happy with Manker. Never had any issues with their lights. All right, well, let's wait no further. Let's take this EO52 outside, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Manker E05-2. Let's go ahead and get started. Water spout there, 38 feet. Not picking it up on the camera there as it is on the fence. Kind of tell you the beam type. Nice color temp on here. Show the beam distance at this light level which is impressive. Let's go back. Not quite. Well, it is making it faintly up by my eyesight, but not on camera just yet. We'll go to the next level here. Nice little jump. 65 feet there to that tree. See how warm it is. When you're on the grass, kind of reflects back, but when you're shooting straight at an object, kind of see that 4K. Nice warm temp. And it is making the tree of life there. 138 feet. Man, for a little EDC. Nice warm temp. Well, let's do it here on the Tree of Life. See the highest output. Nice. 138 feet. Now it is faintly making 238 feet with my distances. If you have any kind of doubts or questions, making it across the park there, look at that. If you have any doubts or questions, I have a link below my video where you can check out all the distances in my testing area out here in the wilderness. Do a before and after here. Kind of see what you're dealing with with the little EDC. Nice combination beam performance all coming from this little light right here. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Nice beam performance. Combination beam is my favorite type of beam. Uh, second one would be flood and then of course the dedicated thrower. But this one here, very nice combination beam. It's got a good spill area hotspot. Um, it's not a super dedicated thrower. So you're going to get about 90 to 100 meters, according to the literature here. 
as you can see 138 feet on that highest output this thing did really well um, this will get really toasty on the head of the light so the turbo will step down after a period of time which is normal and that way you can safely run it should you forget but if not once you put it on turbo have what you want look at and then put it down to another level you've got it right here super compact hide this in your pocket in your shirt pocket really a nice quality light I enjoyed this um, the 4k of course is not my favorite uh, color temp it's a little too warm for me but this one here still did well so if you're more of the 4000 K I'm kind of 5 to 6 K anything in between there 4k did well as far as I'm concerned as beam performance no issue now this beam type combination beam is great for indoor or outdoor there's no you know flood beam to my opinion are best for indoor but outdoor they do real well just they fall off pretty quickly out there in the distance another thing you know you can run this on a regular double a alkaline battery that way in a finch you need something to carry a bunch of those in your pocket you still got light for quite a while in your journey okay well I want to thank flashlight go for sending me this manker e052 to review now if this is something you are interested in getting I will leave a link down in the description box to where you can get this also I'm including a special discount code especially for my channel also if you're interested in these the information updated will be in there as well I will find out if those are included or not in any case that should help you save some money on this kit just in case you're interested well that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that thanks button donate to my channel if you wish otherwise you can please share like and subscribe that way I can bring more of these lights from Manker flashlight go to you in the future thanks for watching take care well let's take this outside see how it does in the wilderness